as you can see, I do some unusual things to make a living. And I have some unusual things done to me. But I enjoy being an actor. So I was pleased when AutoZone asked me to do one of their television commercials. But rather than sell parts, they wanted me to just talk about AutoZone, tell everybody about their value, their spirit, the things that are important to its growth and continue to be important to its future. Now it's not often that a company talks about itself in this manner, so I said, yeah. And I figured I also wanted to know some things about AutoZone for myself. And what I found out was, wow, impressive. First of all, AutoZone's history is amazing for such a young company. Why, it was just 1979 when they first opened their doors. The actual date? The 4th of July. And since then, they've lived up to their birthright and become a perfect example of the American dream at work. By sticking to basic American values, they've attracted folks like you. People who are self-starters, who like cars, and who really enjoy helping other people. That's a very special trait, because the most important AutoZone value is putting customers first. By constantly striving to go that extra mile to make sure that the customer feels special and gets exactly what they need, AutoZone has made customer service more than just a catchphrase. They're working to make it a reality. best deal is for the do-it-yourself. He can buy at the uh, price that a commercial account buys or less. Sometimes to us because we don't have. Obviously the customer appreciates being put first because AutoZone is growing at an amazing pace and no matter how you look at it, total sales, number of stores, rate of growth, AutoZone has been ranked first or second in the nation among auto parts retailers. Now an organization doesn't grow that fast unless all its folks are doing something right. That kind of growth results from a commitment from its people. And as a result, there are great opportunities for its people. Now it's that commitment from each auto owner and the dedication to putting the customer first that makes this company what it is. So I decided to, to go out to some auto zone stores, to its warehouses and to the offices and talk to some auto owners. Find out what makes them tick. And from your comments, one thing stood out. A feeling of respect for the customer. A willingness to do whatever it takes to make sure that that customer gets exactly what they need. They're do-it-yourselfers. You know. They're out there, they're working with their hands just like I've always done all my life. And, uh, I just respect someone that does that. Some of the customers that come in here, come in here two, three times a day sometimes. You know, you get a guy that's working on a project from the very morning, and then he starts out doing a small project, and before you know it, he's rebuilding the whole front end or something like that. Some people come in with their, have some pretty serious problems. Some, have, uh, some come in with automated starter problems. I mean, you know, something that takes a little time to install. Being able to help customers solve their problem is very rewarding for me. They've been toying with this thing for, for days, can't quite figure out what's going on. And uh, if, if he can come in and ask my opinion, and if I don't know exactly what's going on, I can check with some of the other employees, some of the other guys that we work with. And we kind of just have a brainstorm and uh, try to solve this problem. And if he says, you know, I can't believe it was so simple, I really appreciate you helping me out. Uh, that, that's probably the most rewarding part of the job right there. I mean, they really sincerely care about getting that customer's car fixed get them the right parts and making the customer happy. And they appreciate working with somebody that has the inventory that when that customer needs it, it's there. Well, the AutoZone customers are the greatest. <laughs> I heard comments like that everywhere I went. A feeling of respect for the customer was the first thing that I noticed about AutoZone and AutoZoners that set it apart from its competition. So we decided to develop a commercial that reflects that respect and admiration that AutoZone has for its customers. And this is it. John, how you doing? You know AutoZone customers are pretty special. I mean, they take great pains in doing a job just right. So they know exactly what they want. 
That's why we carry so many parts. And also why we price them so low every day of the week. Because you've got to admire a guy who'll tackle a job like putting in a starter, a water pump, a rack and pinion. And you got to give a guy like that exactly what he wants. The right part and the right price. That sort of says it all. But you and I know that taking care of the customer means more than just having the right part at the right price. As most of you told me, it also means paying attention to what the customer has to say. Yeah, they come in, if they see something they like, they tell us how much they like it. If they see something needs to improve, they'll say, well, I think it should be a little bit like this to kind of help me out a little bit better, but we could get input from them all the time. In this business, you learn something every day. Uh, customers come in every day with different kind of problems, and it's, it's an exciting job to try and figure out what these customers are really wanting to do. They're not stupid. They usually know what they want. Um, they might not know how to explain it. You just need to listen to them so you can figure out what they're wanting. Um, but if you get them what they want, they're going to be happy and they're going to return. But a lot of times, you know, we're the first people to hear it. And it's from us that the service bulletins are written because the customer tells us. Right? He comes in, he has a problem. We get out there, we troubleshoot it. We learn early. A lot of time, you know, a customer buys something that he don't need, but if you listen to him, he can tell you. He's telling you all the time what he needs, if you listen. It would seem that a lot of you feel that paying attention to what the customer has to say has played a big part in the success of AutoZone. People listening to people, and then going out of their way to help them with their problems. Our recognition of this important value led us to tell this next story called Listening. You know, working at AutoZone is more than looking up parts or ringing up sales. Most of all, it's, it's listening. Because my customers know more about their cars than I'll ever know. They know every rattle by heart. I mean, that car is their baby. So when they've got a problem they're going to fix for themselves, I'm going to do my best to help them get whatever they need, no matter what it takes. Because people like that, they don't deserve anything less than the best I can give them. Whenever I hear the word listening, it reminds me of a saying I used to hear when I was a kid. It went something like this. God gave us two ears and one mouth, so we'd listen twice as much as we'd talk. Now there's a lot of truth in that, and a lot of wisdom too. You have the people that come in that, that works on cars every day. They, they, uh, a lot of times they can tell you exactly what part they want and maybe even the part number they want. We try to make sure that we have the parts pros at the counter uh, that has the knowledge to help our customers. But most of the customers come in our store that work on their cars, they have quite a bit of knowledge. If you just listen to them and let them explain to you what they need, uh, we find that our customer base is pretty good with uh, the type of work that they do on their car. We treat them special because they could go somewhere else. There's plenty of competitors out there. And the fact that they come in to see us makes them special to me. Like they said, you can't help but learn something new every day, as long as you keep your ears open. Whether you're a novice or a pro, you can't help but continue to learn more by listening to others. And that's how AutoZone can deliver on this promise that we're showing to our television audiences. The name of the story is, We Know Our Parts and Products. Most of our customers come to AutoZone for low prices and for parts they can replace themselves. But many people come because we speak their language. You know, things like duration and lift and compression ratio, stuff like that. Because a guy who's going to rebuild an engine, he won't buy parts from just anybody. And since AutoZone stocks complete engines, we know what makes them tick inside and out. Sure, we sell our best parts at our best prices every day. But if we know something that's going to help you do the job right, you get that free. You know, not all customers who come into AutoZone are seasoned mechanics. But there are people who do the more basic things like changing their oil or air filter. So when it comes to the more difficult things, they need a little help. The questions they may ask are more likely to be things like, what weight of oil do I need? Or how often should I replace my air filter? Things like that. The thing we're here for is to help the customers the best we can and don't make them spend money on something that they don't really need. You know, most of our ideas and programs come from people in the stores. And when someone finds an easier way to put up the truck or, or something that maybe may help everywhere else, 
we find out about it, they'll write us and or send an extra mile in on it. And we do write about it and then sometimes it becomes a company program. Just making them happy and, and letting them know that they have what they need or making sure that they have everything that they need. You know, it lets them know that you care. A lot of times people, they just want to get advice, you know. They can't go to the Chevy dealer and ask them for advice because won't. it's not free. It might be something simple. You can tell them how to do it in two minutes and they can do it fine themselves without having to go and pay a mechanic $50, $60 to do it. Now, AutoZone doesn't judge a customer by ability. That much was evident to me immediately. Everyone is important, and it's the AutoZoner's job to help. So to get that message to the folks who may not be seasoned mechanics in the world, but who still like to work on their own cars, we're telling them this story. About finished? How's it going? Great. We have a lot of good mechanics that shop at AutoZone. Well, you also have a lot of people who just want to save some money by doing a simple job themselves, like changing their oil or putting in new plugs. They just want to come in, get what they need, and get out. Well, at AutoZone, we have parts for just about every car made. So if you know what you want, great. But if you're not quite sure about something, no problem. We'll help. After all, that's what we're here for. Whenever I walked into an AutoZone, I always wanted to ask a few questions of the uh, head man. So I usually asked who the boss was, you know, who ran the place. <laughs> I got some answers I didn't expect. That person that walks through that door and needs parts for their car, that's my boss. Uh, we have different positions here. We have order selectors, stockers, uh, lift drivers. Whatever your position is, do it to the best of your ability to please others, to please the customers. You know, that's who we're working for. You just meet the people in the stores. You don't get to meet the customer that's buying the product. But the ones that deal with the people that do buy the products are very special. Um, it's, it takes a special person to do what we're doing. It takes a special person to do what they're doing. Everything is important. No job is too small or too big. Everything we pull, we put just as much emphasis on a one-piece order as we do 500 or 1,000 piece order. Everything is important. We try to satisfy the store so the store can satisfy the customer. And it's really great the way the managers and I can communicate like that and get the part to the customers and know they've walked away happy. Autos on customers, that's our boss. We treat them more than special. We treat them like family. If Peter Formanak, Tom Hanneman, and a customer walk through the store, the customer would get my attention first because the other two are with the company and they realize that the customer is the one that makes their jobs also possible. You know, I run 187 stores. When I'm in the store, I make it a point to talk and spend time with every auto owner. You know, without those people, none of us get a paycheck. They're the ones that give us all the good ideas. They're the ones that run the company. We just bring the ideas back and maybe channel them the right way. What he said made a lot of sense to me. I mean, the customer really is the boss which sort of emphasizes the importance of making the customer feel special. Now, I don't know that it's a, a value or a part of the AutoZone spirit or what, but it's important enough to convey to people this AutoZone point of view by telling this story we call The Boss. Over a million people each week walk into AutoZone, and taking care of them means having what they need when they need it. That means stocking a lot of parts for a lot of cars. Now, nobody can stock everything, but we stock more than most. And how do we know which ones to carry? That's easy. We listen to our customers. Because nobody knows better about what you want than you. So the next time you walk through that door, you might think of yourself as a customer. But we think of you as the boss. I want to put my two cents in at this point. I mean, not only do I play a customer as an actor, but in real life, I am a customer. And I can tell you firsthand that when I'm treated like a boss, I like it. And when I'm treated like someone is doing me a favor to wait on me, I don't like it. Now given the choice of which store to give my repeat business to, there's no competition. I'm going back to the place that treats me special. Well, auto owners go the extra mile to give their customers what they need, when they need it, and for the right price. And that makes customers feel like a boss. The worst thing well, in the world is you buy something today, then you go in the store and they have it cheaper tomorrow. How do you feel? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> From the standpoint of meeting the customer's needs, in advertising it's our job to make some good looking ads and attract the customer to the store. Once we get the customer to the store, no problem. We could probably purchase products and we could sell for a few dollars less, but when you factor in the quality versus the price, then you'll realize that uh, 
the cost overall is what we, we try to emphasize. Not just selling a product just because it's a lower price. We want a product that's going to last and be durable for a customer. Most people appreciate the car they drive. You know, what is old or new. And they want, you know, they want, a, they want the best part for the best price. I believe we have the best quality parts on the market. Uh, we've got the best warranty on the market. There's no doubt about that. Uh, best price every day is, is what we try and live by. We don't have things on sale very often. We don't have to put things on sale very often. Most of our regular prices beat our competition sale prices. There's no need to put it on sale, and that way the customer saves every day. He doesn't, it's real hard to wait for a starter to go on sale if your starter's bad today. You know, if I really am the boss, that means things are done to accommodate my convenience. You know, people shouldn't make me wait on them. I mean, you wouldn't keep the boss waiting or charge him a higher price simply because he visited your store at the wrong time. I mean, that's not right. You wouldn't. That's why you're working for AutoZone. You're willing to put yourself in your customer's shoes and treat them with respect. Now, I notice you have this thing called the Drop Stop 3030 so that customers can get quick attention. And your pricing policy means they don't have to wait for a sale to save money. Now, that attitude served as the inspiration for this story, told from the point of view of the customer. And appropriately enough, it's called, I can't wait. Hey, I like to save money as much as the next guy. But what are the odds that there's going to be a sale on the part you need when your car breaks down? Hey, it's not going to happen. That's why I go to AutoZone. I mean, sure, you could wait around for a couple weeks and maybe beat their price by a few pennies someplace else. But I don't want to wait for a sale when I need a part. Now, what more could you ask for? You know, I've shopped at parts stores in various parts of the country, and I notice that AutoZone's everyday prices really are within a few pennies or even lower than your competitors' sale prices. That's a pretty good deal. And examples of this everyday low price policy are pretty powerful. Hey, take a look. If you've been waiting for a sale on carburetors, just remember this. At AutoZone, our carburetors start at just $59.99 every day. When it gets really hot, do you really want to wait for a sale? At AutoZone, our air conditioning compressors start at just $69.99 every day, so you never have to wait for a sale. When you're ready to change your oil, just remember this. At AutoZone, Valvoline All Climate Motor Oil is just 89 cents a quart every day. When you're ready to tackle a really dirty job, you don't have to wait for a sale. At AutoZone, AC, Motorcraft, or Deutsch Precision Oil filters are just two for five dollars every day. So you never have to wait for a sale. You know, you just can't argue with stuff like that. I mean, that sort of price policy is sure to generate some interest and some customer comments. One thing I've discovered by working in advertising over the years is that if your customer doesn't like you, huh, they're going to tell a hundred people. But if they're impressed with your service, well, they'll probably tell several of their friends. When I was in your company headquarters, they showed me a file drawer full of letters commending the actions of people in their stores. Letters about auto's owners helping them out of a jam. like this are real, unsolicited. Letters that inspired us to develop a campaign of spots that tell the stories of some satisfied customers. Like this one. It was 8 o'clock in there, right? Yeah. The truck wouldn't start. 
And the lights worked, but the engine wouldn't turn over. So I figured it must be the starter, right? Well, I went to AutoZone. They said, let's test it. Turns out it was okay. So we tested my battery and found that it just didn't have enough juice to crank it. Now get this. I didn't have to spend a dime, because they even charged my battery for free. Get out. Get out. That kind of service? Hey, you just can't beat it. Now this is my favorite spot of all. Keep your eye on the talent in this one. <laughs> I think we can expect a lot of good things from him in the future. The other day I get in my car, won't start. No small problem, right? Oh, well, I figure it's the battery, so I go down to the auto zone and I tell him what I need. The guy says to me, let's check your old one first, it might not be the problem. Turns out he was right. Mm. All I needed was a new battery cable. Mm. Talk about saving money. Right. Now you tell me, would another parts store done that? They made sure I got exactly what I needed. Now I'll remember that. Believe me, I will. Wow, was that guy great or what? Such emotion, such ability. Guys, could we roll? Guys? Well, anyway. After all that I've seen and heard from those who shop and work at AutoZone, I gotta tell you, I feel good about telling people about AutoZone. I mean, I've been impressed by the, the spirit and enthusiasm I've seen. And I appreciate the way that enthusiasm is focused on making sure that as a customer, I get what I really need. Now, there's a lot of things that set AutoZone apart from other stores. But what it all boils down to in the end is, is that you and every other auto owner work together to make sure that the customer gets what he needs. Whether you work in the offices, the warehouse, you drive a truck, or you work in the stores, every one of you plays an important role in making sure AutoZone customers are satisfied. You know, I auditioned for my role against actors from all over the country, so I must have had some qualities that AutoZone liked or I wouldn't have been selected. Well, the same goes for you. You were chosen to be an auto owner. Why? Because you care. Because you're the kind of person that'll treat your customers like you want to be treated if you were the customer. You make people feel good. You like people. And that's why they like you. And that's a wonderful attribute. And that's why you were chosen to become a member of a very special team. Congratulations, and welcome to AutoZone.